garage. I apologize for the background parrots. Those were ones that were released when they got rid of the Arboretum at uh, Budweiser plant in Van Nuys. So they're just an annoyance that we have to deal with. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and conclude the singling out operation on the M135 because one, I haven't put out a video in a while, and two, I'm just waiting for parts to finalize it, but it's pretty much done. I'm, I'm done engineering it, and I'm very happy with the outcome. There's a few things I would have done differently, and one of which would be is I would have this remade, this one plate. So I'd have to find somebody with an iron worker and, and redo this quarter inch plate right here, but it would be a heck of a lot easier just to remove the rivet rather than all the cutting I did on, on the bogey mount and then making it smooth on the underside. So, you know, aside from, you know, bending the quarter inch plate in, in a 90 and adding your rivet holes, it would have saved me a ton of time just having it bent and then drilling the rivets back in. So, what I ended up using is I ended up using some NOS um, M105 spring hangers and I had a set of G506 which is a World War II Chevy spring, one and a half ton spring and I mounted it. In between the perches is 44 and a half. If I would have used the M105 springs which is going to be easier for you to find and it has a proper spring pin size, which I'll get into later. You would be mounting it 46 and a half center to center. The XM381 site states that the inside hole center, the inside hole center is 42 and a half. So that would be enough for you. Um, also, I would have made all of the um, mounts for the frame the spring perch a little bit longer. I ended up remaking the front one so that I could pick up an existing mounting hole. But the back one could have had it too. It's just a little bit cooler looking with a smaller mount, but I would have much preferred having a little bit extra beef. But I'm, I'm happy with it how it is, so I'm going to leave it. On the front spring perch is when I finally finish it, I'm going to be welding this right here but I'm going to be adding this brace, which is from the, one of the shorter ones, which this one is, the original front spring perches. And I'm going to put it here, and that's going to give it more than enough strength. Okay? For the back side, I added the plate to bring it up, to give it support on the side, and I'm going to be running like a 1x3. I haven't sourced it yet, but I'm pretty much a 1x3 rectangular tubing in between the two above the spring pin hole. And I wanted to keep the, the dog bone on the top to help locate the pinion. And I'm, the last thing I'm gonna weld after I get the transfer case in is these spring perches. So I make sure that I get my pinion angle correct so I don't get driveline vibration from the drive shaft. Well, that's it for the day. Um, we won't put a video out from when I strip, prime, and paint the backside. And um, I'll do a quick blurb with all the welds. And um, the next big video is when I start to put the Cummings in. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps us to put the video up higher so that people can see it. Thanks again.